Hey, what's going on guys? Justin Williams here with Axis Off Grid and I'm out morel hunting and today I came across an awesome snake, one of my favorites, but while I had it, I thought I'd go ahead and talk to you about venomous snake safety, so stick with me. Here and today I want to talk to you about the spring. I'm out morel hunting looking for some mushrooms. But unfortunately, I came across this awesome snake, so I want to talk to you about uh, snake and poisonous snake safety. So, see if we can get on him. He's got himself tucked in here pretty good. All right, check out this bad boy. He's over six foot long. Probably, probably right at six feet. This is our amazing black snake. It's one of my favorites. And the reason I love this snake is it makes excellent survival food in a survival situation. So several things I want you to keep in mind when it comes to identifying poisonous snakes is one, you gotta get in your research. That's so important because every snake is different. And there are a lot of similar look-alikes. Uh, coral snakes are a perfect example. Copperheads have look-alikes. And even the black snake has several different look-alikes. But notice in his head here, we're looking to avoid any type of diamond-shaped heads. Notice how his is round, more oval-shaped. And then his eyes are round as well. They're not slanted. And they have nostrils. Um, check their pitting. And then whenever they open their mouth, look for the teeth. And this tail right now, he's trying to be like a, uh, like a rattlesnake. See how it's vibrating and texturing right there? He'll do that on the ground as well. So make sure you are learning and being aware of their different uh, patterns. A lot of times it's in their patterns and their undersides. But anyways, I want to encourage you guys, get outside, do your research. Be sure to identify it's springtime and you never know what you're going to come across. So once again, love nature, get out and discover all of the amazing aspects of it. And then once again, we wanna make sure that we let him go and we're not gonna injure him because we don't need him. It's not a survival situation. And it's time to get back to morel hunting. So thanks for watching. And once again, be sure to share, subscribe, and stay tuned.